Let me tell you, I finally organized my digital life into one place. Now my digital life is very efficient. I just go to my laptop, open it up, then open browser and then all my websites, all my tools, all the AI stuff, all the bar of note taking, everything at one place, along with a lot of other powerful stuff as well. Let me introduce you DataSurf. And I'm so grateful that this video is in collaboration with DataSurf. So let's get started. Hello friends, I'm Moon, and today we're diving in the fantastic world of my digital life. As a person in the creative field, I don't want to be disorganized. I don't want to be disoriented, distracted. I'm a learner who learns stuff in the real time. I'm a person who dreams for way further than what I am today. And for that, I need something powerful. Something which can get the work done while being very powerful, clean and aesthetic. Yes, it's beautiful but very efficient. And before you ask, DataSurf is available in all platforms. Mac OS, Linux, Windows, you name it. And now let's dive deep into DataSurf, shall we? So my first time when I launched the application, it was pretty simple and minimal. Because DataSurf was exactly what I needed. Something with a clean, amazing interface with a lot of power in it. And when you open the application first time, the browser teaches you its way, its features and all of its powers. It is like you do a tutorial in a game, where you try every and each component of what you can do in that game. And it is the same here. You see, I get to see teletype, stuff, surflets, editable AI nodes. And the one thing which I love the most and the reason I trust this application to my heart and there are a lot of Linux users are gonna love this one that this browser runs local first. Everything is safe locally on your device. No cloud locking, no tracking. Your data is not shared to the cloud to some server. It all happens locally. And you can actually see and explore all those files. It is just your knowledge, your way. Now let me take you with me as I use DataSurf and explain all the features. Not with a script, but a real experience and yeah, a real-time recording. So let's get into it. So this is DataSurf. And as you go down in the website, you will see all the features, well, the prominent features and some things which are just beyond a browser. But now let me just introduce you to my setup. Yes, a setup. So this is data serve for me. When I open the browser, this is what I get. I have all my useful notes, websites, tabs here. And as you can see, it is indeed an amazing note. And it was generated, created using AI within the browser. But now let me just show you even something better. As we go to the left, we have the pin tabs and then we have our workspace. But here we call it context. And as you can see, I have two, one for content creation and one for learning. You know, I'm trying to learn graphic design. But besides that, when you go downstairs, you will see something like this. What is this? Well, this is DAF. This is where your whole digital life is organized in one place. As you see, this is the context, which is my content creation. And here is my node, all my tabs, which are pinned, saved, and when you see here, you have a library where everything I've ever collected is stored here. From histories to downloads to tabs, everything. Even the photos which, you know, I'm using as my wallpaper of the context. You just have to right click here and use this image as context background. And then we have the context which are a lot of them but but I imported most of the stuff from Chrome so it's it will not show up there because I don't want them to. And then I created the content creation and learning. And then we have all the notes I ever created. Well, I've been working on this one, which is my YouTube channel analysis and 10x growth strategy. I'd like to show you how I did this. But leaving that, then we have the history. And creating a new context is pretty easy. You just have to go there. Write the name of your context and then choose a logo or emoji. But you see, this is not the best part. As you can see, I have this note, my note taking app, Mila Note, then my subscription, then my YouTube channel studio. But what if I want to grab information from all these tabs at once? 
and prepare a YouTube strategy for my next month or plan content for a week? Well, I can just ask my context and it will open a note. Now you have multiple options to do that. The best thing I like is to just press Ctrl N. It will create a whole new note like this. And now, first I'll add the context to, well, my active context, which is my content creation. There it is, the logo. And now I'll ask, I want to plan a week of content. One video, a day, and I want them to be evergreen, but trendy as well. Now let's see what we'll get. Now what with, what will it do? It will grab all the details from my well content creation which has all my stuff as you can see here all of this and here it is. It gave me a whole content plan and it is writing in real time with the real data. Linux distros for 2025, how to set up a perfect minimalist tip test, best Android desktop like all of these are related to my best performing videos and these were trending but also evergreen and now all of them are repurposed or you know mixed with the new idea and why they're evergreen why they're trendy it has explained everything and then i have tips for it too and you see all the ai features are processed by a specific ai model which you can choose from here and let's say you want to run a local model and want to go a little more offline and secure then you can use your own custom provider with an API key which means you have the option to even use AI features offline as well like yes your whole local data which you have saved on the browser will stay locally and will not go in the cloud as you can see here all the data of this browser along with all my own data which if you want to see here is saved locally and all the AI features will process that data locally this is something you will not see in a lot of browsers. Now, if you want to check that if I'm lying or not, that it is actually seeing data in real time, I'll ask, analyze my YouTube channel studio and tell me how I'm doing. Let's see. Now it is going to analyze my YouTube studio in real time. And there we go. As you saw real time and yeah, it's actually a pretty accurate one not just accurate too real to be true yep i don't earn that much but yeah it's still but leaving that it actually generated not just a prompt not just a chat as in ChatGPT or gemini or other applications or tools you got a real document here and let's say i want to know based on these data such as me seven amazing ideas i have never created this is something bold yep and now i just have to ask surf and it is getting to the essence okay these are actually the videos i've never created such like ai linux disk choose the next evolution or ultimate linux desk makeover because you know and then can AI design my Linux setup? These are actually amazing ideas which I'd like to try. And I've never created videos for these things. Like, I've never done that. It actually scanned my whole YouTube channel for this. Can you believe? This is how amazing the AI inside data surf is. But that's not just the best part. Now, I would like to show you something crazy. Surflet. Let me just show you what it is. So this is a document. So I opened it up in a proper tab. Now let's see. Well, let's open a new tab here. Control N. And now I'm. what I'm going to do is add context to my channel. And then I'm going to add another context to basically all of my stuff. Now I want to create a surflet. A surflet is basically an app which works inside the browser. Let me just show you how. So. I want no. Let's just give it a command. Create a surflet where I can be my seven new ideas for YouTube and have to do list of those ideas. You know, I'll just let it think the rest. So shall we do it? Let's see. Do you know what will happen now? 
it will write code in real time for the application and not just that after the code has been completed you can actually use the application right now within this node or you can just add this servlet or the application on your de you know constant oh man it actually did it just the way i wanted it to be here's my video idea and be besides that i can add tasks to what i need to do in order to get this done and after that it i'm done with it i can just remove it man so you see there's one thing we can also do with anything literally anything we can just save it to our constant for example as i did this and now i'd like to save it into my content creation just like that and now when i go to my stuff this is it here now let me just drag and drop to my context there and as you can see let me just change the position of a few stuff and there we go as you can see a whole application and we can also see the code yep we can but the application here let's say i want to add a task for example record raw footage and i can just click the plus button and it is here and i can just remove these and remove the ideas as well yep it is just that nice as i'm done with the things i can just remove them or i just want to add a task to react my own old videos i'll say download those videos and just add them there it is this is the real power of data surf you have the power of ai with proper document note taking then the context then when you press control o this is stuff where you have all your stuff it literally means what it means you have all the things you saved in a context or you can just go to the library where literally everything is there everything ever happened inside the browser and if you don't like a few things you can just delete them for example this node empty delete from stuff just like that or when you go to context you have multiple contexts so let's say i want to use all the data from every tab here and prepare a document or ask some questions i can do it with ai here and my data will be secure on my device it will not be sent to the cloud first that is why it is pretty fast and efficient and it also has a different layout too you see when you go to the view and change tab orientation you also have the horizontal top bar but i like the vertical one it's just preference so i just have to go there view change tab orientations we also have keyboard shortcuts but i prefer visual thing and this is pretty minimal and efficient i like it and whenever i need to switch my theme i can just go to learning mode which is literally man distraction free as you can see way to free and i can just go to my teachers the tutorial graphics where i learn well graphics designing and everything yep he's actually sort of a god in this field but leaving that my whole digital life is now organized in one place just like this hands to data surf and if i'm worried about my data then i can just go here and show data surf in file manager and this is it all the data of surf literal all data you can actually see what goes in the back end as well can you believe it everything here and even this application right here everything is here inside my laptop it will not go online and as my initial experience and full time experience of a browser like this i'm pretty impressed and so is my laptop because i've been using this browser so much these days that my battery is almost dead but besides that if you are anyone who wants a little peace of mind a little orientation organization who needs to manage his digital life then data surf deserves a try and you can try data surf with the link in the description and tell me if you have any problems any doubt or anything at all on your mind in the comment section i'll reply you i promise and i'm going to use data surf in my daily life from now on and i'll be creating videos about it too where i'll share my experience the things i like the things i don't because right now i'm not even using half of the full potential of this browser this browser is capable of way more than what just what i just showed you and doing stuff like creating a whole application 
or actually using the data of multiple websites in real time and creating documents like these, analyzing stuff, it would take me multiple hours doing all of this if I was not on DataServe. So my initial experience was amazing. And yeah, I have a lot, a lot of video ideas here as well, thanks to DataServe. And I'll be creating videos about them. So don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss those when. And once again, I'm grateful for the opportunity to collaborate with DataSurf on this video. And yeah, I have 6,286 subscribers right now. So I hope we can cross 10,000 by the end of the year. Yep, I hope. Maybe it's a little hard on myself, but yeah, I can just hope. Will you help me? Let me know in the comments and hit that subscribe button. And if you have ideas for any future videos or you want me to create a video about something, just let me know in the comments I, and I'll see. I actually see all the comments and I'm gonna reply to every one of them on this video. So, thanks for watching. I'm Oom, signing out.